Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Normally, I would start, you know, after we uh, slept for the evening, but it's apparently some zombies following me that I didn't <laughs> thought we were okay on, and we weren't. So we're gonna start off with uh, clearing these boys and goys out of the area, which is more than I thought was coming. Okay, that's fine. We'll be okay. We're a little tired, so it's gonna be harder than it should be, but not dramatically so. Big, big tall fence to my side here helps out quite a bit. You don't have to worry about zombies coming from that direction. Now we'll probably just jump ahead to tomorrow morning, assuming nothing more interesting happens. Alright, up bright and early. Oh, 6.30, I guess it's not that early. I was just checking this house again to see if there was a bag that I left behind. Um, I dumped all the books out of that other bag that I had. You know what we're going to have for breakfast? Just a, just a bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> glug glug, my friend. Glug glug. Um, yeah, so we're going to go... These are the duplicate books that I accidentally picked up. But to recap the plan, we're going here. This shopping center right here. There's a video store in there. I want to get tapes. As we're about to embark, embark on a let's make my character smarter project. That is the current, current project that we are prepping for. Blaze McCool has been a dummy for too long. But we, we carried a lot of zombies back here with us, didn't we? I was driving up that street and I pulled a bunch of zombies. Let's pull them all back into that spot area. Everyone go over there. Don't bother me. I might leave the car, like, kind of here. Go this cool bag with me. An approach on foot. So we don't draw too much attention. Okay, coming behind me. Wandered into my scent trail. Anybody else? No? I thought this group of four was on me, but apparently not. Hey. Yeah, there they go. map, eh? That's West Point. We're never going there. Ooh, another migration going on. Should probably step back and let that happen. Uh, too late. Looks like we've already got some people on us. This 
stupid zombie migration. Just stay put. Nobody asked you to move. I guess I'm gonna have to clean this out regardless because I need time to loot the video store. Hello, Osfer. A replacement for our uh, crowbar, or not crowbar, um, nightstick there. Nobody has wandered into the area behind me. Ooh, yeah, there's kind of some zombies behind me. <laughs> Should be more careful. sure that that's the building I need. Oh no, it's the next one over. Hmm. Really want to have to fight my way all the way over there, so maybe we'll just walk and then figure out what our situation is once we're there. It's a Kano Lodge Motel. No rooms. Ooh, a lot of zombies up there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill all these guys. I'm just gonna have to do something to clear the space. So I can do what I want and leave. Short, short of a fire. I'm not killing these guys anytime soon. Oh, that's getting a little too tight. But yeah, this this is where I'm trying to go. Hit vids right there. Alright, come here, everybody. Have to move all these zombies somewhere else. Temporarily. I don't even have any fire ready, so if I wanted, even if I wanted to burn these guys out, I couldn't. Try not to connect any more of these zombie groups down here because we don't need to deal with them right now. I take this group around the back of this thing. Around the back and then around the uh, big fence. Just gonna hamper my movement back here, but <laughs> we're gonna take a risk. Those sweet, sweet videotapes. 
There's free skill points. The other side of this fence look like yeah, relatively. I mean, not unpopulated, but lower. My goal is to take this giant group around the back of this fence, and then we'll hop the fence and hopefully leave them behind. We're getting there, we're getting there. See, this would be so much better if they were on fire. Because <laughs> then these zombies would be dying while I'm doing this, instead of just um, being angry. And I'm going to have to deal with them at some point in the future. Almost there, though. Just gotta take them up to the back side of this fence. And with any luck, they will lose my, their pathing before they get can get all the way back to me. Does that fence extend all the way up? It does. Alright, well, we're gonna do a double jump then. Actually, I should probably just go up and around this way. It's actually probably better. So when I do things like this, I do this like, see I'm just coming back the way I came, rather than just going straight where I want to go, because the group starts to stretch out as time goes on. Um, and if you do these like, little roundy things, you can keep the group tightly packed. The amount Project Zomboid has taught me about being a shepherd dog, <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> much higher than one would think. Shattering glass scared me. Make sure they stay with me as much as possible because the further down this fence line they go when I jump, the harder it'll be for them to path back to me. Lost a group in the back, that's okay. Alright, I think that we're probably good. Down to like this corner, probably. Make sure they keep coming this way. Alright, right here. Oh, that, that was close. We almost didn't make it over the fence. Alright, so with any luck, this group will mostly just stop. So it's like, what's happening? Come on, unlocked back door. Sounds windy. Wasn't expecting that door to actually be unlocked.
Yeah, they were just gunshots. Can't really tell where or if they're moving, causing the zombies to move, so. I don't like the, the, the big group is on the move again. Alright, toss this on the ground. Not gonna worry. In, until this thing is full, I'm not gonna worry about what we're picking up. I'm just gonna dump everything in it. <laughs> I really don't like the fact that I can see the big group moving around, making me uncomfortable. Fitness do DVDs don't actually do anything, or fitness tapes don't do anything, right? It's one of those things I always think it sh I always hope it will do something, but then it doesn't actually do anything. Thankfully, these things weigh part of hardly anything, so we probably we might be able to take basically the entire video store without having any problems. Car zone. That was one of the ones I was hoping to find. It's got mechanic skill, which is one of the ones that's a pain to train. Pain to train. All right, I have literally taken almost the entire video store. It's just this front ones that I was avoiding because I didn't want to get seen by the zombies. But since we're almost done. the wrong bag. Yeah, I hear you coming. Alright, we took the entire video store. <laughs> Let's go out the back. I don't know if we have a TV that can actually watch them back at base, but um, they're not hard to come by, so I'm unconcerned about that. Let's sort this later. <laughs> Hope we got, hope there was a fair amount of skill training books in there, or DV, uh, uh, VHS cassettes. This station wagon actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. And we'll try the front door, since I have kind of a half second here, I'll try the jump in and see if it works, but I don't expect it to. Oh, yes, there's the key. Oh, no, no gas. Run. <laughs> that was, that was last second. But it worked out. Alright, I gotta admit that both of the projects, the one from last episode and this one, I've been, uh, more easily achieved than I expected. <laughs> I really thought the zomb zombies are shifting back out from where I thought I'd have to work a lot harder to get where I was trying to go. So just walk back to the car. Yeah. Look at us go. Go find someplace safe so I can sort through these tapes. They don't weigh hardly anything, as I said, so they're they're super easy to carry. I have to consult the wiki to figure out which one of them, which of them actually gives skill ups. I mean, some of them are obvious, like you know, Woodcrafters episode three. But uh, some of them are less obvious, like the, uh, whatever the one that is a parody of Psycho gives, like, one tick of, uh, of short blade level up. Oh, hello, zombies. I don't know where all you guys came from. Let's just stop here for a second. Just long enough for me to dump all the extras. Need four of Molly, Molly Brown. Start at the top. 
Goodbye, second ace pilot. Goodbye, this. This. Car zone episode three. Only got car zone episode three. It's too bad. Dog Goblin. We got Dog Goblins 2, 3, and 4, but not 1. How am I supposed to know what's happening in the series if I don't have to God Dog Goblin 1? Must be kind of weird to be to, to write these things. Considering not that many of the players will ever actually, like, read them. <laughs> I'm, I love that they're in the game. I think it's great. But... Just from a writer's perspective, it must be strange to just be like, yeah, I wrote, um, you know, a novel's worth of text for a, a handful of uh, VHS cassettes in Project Zomboid that very few of the players ever actually sit down and watch. But I guess maybe for a writer, you're just kind of happy to be allowed to write for a living. I know I would be. Um, so we got this a zombie hit list randomly that I just picked up. I'm not sure how many of these we've seen. Definitely haven't seen Thriller or Smooth Criminal. We've seen Pennywise, because I think that's where we got our balloon from. Romero-esque slashers, classic movies. Alright, safely back home. So, in terms of tapes of things that I know give points, we got Car Zone 3, which will give us a little bit. Exposure Survivals 1, 3, and 8, so we're missing quite a few of those. Fitness Clubs I don't think actually do anything. Which is too bad. I don't think Survival Instinct does anything. I'm pretty sure that's a just a narrative movie. But maybe it does. Cooking shows 3, 6, and 7. 2, 3, 4, and 5 from... Uh, no, wait, that's the Magic Woodland. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, Woodcraft, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. So we're missing 1 and 6, and I think 8. So not bad. Hey, zombie? Zombie? What are you doing here? This is this is a, a clean zone, exclusion zone. We're not you're not allowed to have zombies in this area. It just dawned on me seeing that nightstick on the ground that we killed a guy at, at one point, and I was like, "Oh, new new uh, nightstick," and then I didn't actually pick it up. This one's in better shape than the one we got. Which I assume is why I threw it on the ground. <laughs> but yeah, let's stop here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am, as always, the Kremlin Archer, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.